Hello, I'm Dr. Jeffrey Whitman at the Key Whitman Eye Center in Dallas, Texas, and I'm going to show you the uh, proper way to load the uh, Crystalline 5.0 lens with the AMO injector, silver tipped injector. First thing we'll do is we'll load the uh, plastic silicone tip onto the uh, tip of the injector. You need to push the uh, injector all the way in so the uh, tip, metal tip will protrude. The package already comes with the sil with the uh, plastic sleeve loaded. You just push into it, pull back, and the uh, silicone sleeve is now on the injector tip. This is important because we'll use this tip to manipulate the trailing uh, haptics of the uh, 5.0 lens. Now we're going to lubricate the uh, cartridge with any good lubricant except for OxyCode. So Provis, Keylon, Amvis, Garvis, any of that's okay. Also fill the wings, which doesn't show well up in this picture, but uh, the area of the platform where you'll lay the uh, lens implant. Now we'll pick the lens implant with the smooth forcep or a Cummings forcep. And we'll lay these in the wings of the uh, platform, already laying at an angle the, f the left haptics under the ledge, and then we simply by pressing down position the right haptics under that side of the ledge. You can pull it back and forth just to make sure you feel you have uh, the haptics on either side under the ledge of these wings. It'll stick down nicely because of the viscoelastic underneath. Then we start to close with a little downward pressure with the forcep over the optic area to make sure it folds downward, tacos downward. No worry about tucking haptics, they're both curving in towards each other as just seen. We'll retract the silicone tip all the way so we can insert the cartridge into the injector. Once this, this, this is done, we'll uh, use the uh, silicone tip to push the lens forward into the injector tip. And you can see nice upward position of the haptics. A little twirled in the uh, leading haptics, but this will inject us fine. The eye has already been uh, filled with uh, standard viscoelastic, again not OxyCoat, which makes the lens very slippery to manipulate if necessary. Lubricate the surface of the uh, cornea, a nice clear view. And then while holding the globe with the instrument in the paracentesis, we'll enter through a 2.8 millimeter keratome incision, bevel down, and slowly turn and inject the lens, always turning counterclockwise a little bit to make sure the left haptic goes under the bag. Remember right round, the right leading haptic is the round haptic, so just watch it as it comes out. Once you get the trailing haptics all the way out, you can use the blue tip just as I've done to position them in the bag as well by a little downward pressure and a little pushing away from you. I turn the lens into the 12, 6 o'clock position position it back and forth just to make sure it's in the equator. Then I'll remove the viscoelastic. I always like to get under the lens. Push the lens down, tap, tap, tap. Make sure the lens is again in good equatorial position. Remove all the viscoelastic. I'll then hydrate my Wong incision as well as the uh, paracentesis to try to ensure water tightness. And then I inject a little uh, dilute cantalog for some anti-inflammatory effect and to make sure my wound is watertight. 